Hello, everybody. With the Artifacts 2.0 update one week away as of today, we just got this pretty cool press release that is jam-packed with info, and I'm not stating that lightly. So first things first, console, you guys now have access to the Hidden Realms update. If you don't know, consoles are generally one cycle behind the PC update. So we get the upcoming Artifacts 2.0 while you all are receiving our previous update, which is Hidden Realms. Be warned though, I have heard from plenty of people on my stream and looking elsewhere that it is kind of bugged right now, especially with unlocking Acrid. It Upon completing the void fields, you just don't get accurate at all. So play the update at your risk. Hopefully there's a patch that comes in soon and fixes that stuff. So right here, you can download and play Risk of Rain 2 for free on the Xbox for March 26th to 29th. Also, the game will be 40% off from the 31st to April 6th. That is very cool. And then here's the chunky one right here. To celebrate the one year anniversary on Steam, the game will be 20% off from the 31st to April 6th. And you get to play it for free from April 2nd to April 6th. Now, most of you watching this video probably already own the game, so it's not that big of a deal. But tell your friends if they don't want to drop the money right away tell them to wait until april 2nd they can play the game for free try it out for four days straight see if they like it and if they do they can buy it for 20 percent off that is very cool and then anyone on the switch you can get it for half off until April 2nd. Big sales, big free weekend. It looks like they're trying to push the game to more people, which is always awesome. All right, but here is the Artifacts 2.0 info. The specific thing I wanna cover is this sentence right here. These treasures can be unlocked by completing in-game challenges and then equipped at the start of the run, drastically modify, blah, blah, blah. So the in-game challenges part. So you could read this one of two ways. First, they're gonna be in the game and challenging to unlock. As in, in the first game, you kinda have like traverse the map, find secret areas, and then they're like hidden, tucked away kind of thing. It's probably pretty challenging to get them, right? The other interpretation would be actual challenges like we're already used to in the game, where you unlock different survivors' abilities, different items, etc. There's the specific challenges you have to do. Go to your logbook, look under the challenges tab, it tells you exactly how to get stuff. That is kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen with the artifacts here, which is kind of interesting, right? Now, who knows? Maybe it's a challenge like I'm proposing, but the challenge says you have to go find it on the stage. Something like that. But honestly, this is pretty exciting nonetheless. And then right here, it's confirmed that Sky Meadows is returning as the stage but it is the fifth stage, so that's really interesting. So now we have an additional stage per loop. No longer is the stages one through four, it's now one through five. And then right here, I, I don't really understand, encounter new familiar monsters, kind of an oxymoron. I'm assuming they just mean new monsters to the Risk of Rain 2 game, but they're familiar because they're from Risk of Rain 1. And I looked it up here, the monsters that were in Sky Meadows in the first game were the child, the parent, the ancient wisp, and then the Colossus. I don't think we'll get the Colossus because the Stone Titan kind of takes this guy's place already. The Ancient Wisp is a very likely probability if you ask me. And here's another chunky piece of info. The Commando Huntress Engineer and Acrid receive more unlockable skill variants to shock and awe in many new ways. This is a press release after all, so they have to kind of spice things up. But that's cool. So now we are confirming that we have Commando, Huntress, Engineer, and Acrid who received the new abilities. For Commando, this is going to be his utility skill. And the reason why I know this is because if you go into the game right now and you look at the loadout section, you can see the work in progress, the under construction wrench, meaning that Commando, by process of elimination, we're getting a new utility. For Huntress, we're getting a new secondary, which is actually interesting because Glaive, if you play Huntress a lot, you know that Glaive is the vast majority of your overall damage. So, so this is going to have to be a pretty good ability for me to take it over the Glaive. I'll be honest. Engineer, we're going to get a utility and the skin. And then Acrid, there's a choice between either his secondary or his special. Who knows which one's coming with the update? Maybe it's both. And then here under the new loot section, we get a new lunar item of dubious purpose. If you ask me, I think this is going to be one of the heresy items. We currently have strides of heresy and visions of heresy, which replace your utility and your primary attack respectively. So this one will probably be a new heresy item for either your secondary or your special, but we don't know. And then finally here, engineer mains rejoice. The skin is going to be available with the Artifacts 2.0 update. It's been a long time coming, let's be real. If the skin isn't worth it, boys, you know what to do. And that does it. That's all the new info we have. This actually gave us some really nice information. I'm very happy with this press release. And I'm even more excited for the Artifacts 2.0 update. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing about this press release is. What are you most excited for? And other than that, thank you for watching. And be on the lookout for some Risk of Brain 2 content coming in hot.